Welcome back to day two of the ACC tournament. I'm your host, Cardell Dudley, and in the first contest, number nine, Florida State defeats number eight, Virginia Tech, 86 67. But before we get into what went down and all that unfolded, I'm going to need all of you to get over to the best soul food restaurant in the DMV, to me in the whole country, get over to Ooze and Oz, uh, their flagship spot, one thousand five hundred beef to the Northwest. Only take out if you want to dine in or also have a takeout option. Uh, get over to their uh, spot at 5933 Georgia Avenue, Washington, D.C. Tell them I said you. Who's not? Best little food restaurant in the entire DMV. Uh, you can't go wrong. Back to the game at hand, man. Uh, Florida State held on. Virginia Tech was feisty. You know what I mean? They were feisty, but. Uh, Florida State made their free throws. They kept their composure for the most part. They had a little slippage where they turned the ball over, being affected by Virginia Tech's press. Uh, but for the most part, they executed, got to the line, and knocked down the free throws and, and, and got stops. And that's how they were able to hold on. Uh, listen, man, Jameer Watkins was unbelievable. Uh, he was flat out unbelievable. 34 point game, high 34 points, 11 rebounds. Uh, Jalen Warley had 18 points and four assists, three rebounds. Uh, for Virginia Tech, Sean Virginia, he made the team with 24 points and five assists. Tyler Nickel had 18 points and seven assists. Man, but, uh, right here, but, uh, it was a defensive battle for, for the majority of the game, especially in the, in the first half. Uh, but Virginia Tech had a 37-36 lead at halftime. Uh, in the second half, uh, all Jameer Watkins and Jalen played Warley. Uh, they, they they couldn't be stopped, especially Watkins. Watkins finished with 24 points, but in the second half, he scored 20 of his 34 points on three or six shooting from the field, and it was 14 to 16 from the line. Uh, that just tells you it had eight rebounds in the second half. That just tells you the dominant performance that he had. Uh, most of the free throws came late, obviously during the clutch. Uh, Virginia Tech trying to stop the clock. They knew they can to, to, to you know, delay the game as much as possible. So I think it's trying to make a run, but uh, he hit the free throws. And you got to hit the free throws because we know it's a different ball game. But, you know, even even without that, you know, he was the one guy, even in the first half, when Virginia Tech was leading at halftime, he was the one guy that that couldn't be gone. Uh, he could get his whenever he wanted, and he did it at the official rate. He had 14 points at the half, three rebounds, but he was six and nine from the field. Um, he was the only one. Jalen Ward he had eight points and four four from the field. But like I said, in the second half, they completely took over. They scored. They combined to score 30 uh, Florida State's 50 points in the second half, man. And they both were seven and twelve combined. So, uh, you know, hats off to them, man. Uh, a great game being played, but. Some other notable things that contributed to this loss were Virginia Tech. You know, they got good, you know, they got a you know, good production for, for Julia. Uh, they, uh, you know, Collins, Tyler Nickel. Uh, what more can you say, man? Like, uh, he, he, he was huge with uh, Julia. He had it going, but I feel like Tyler Nickel was the one that really was scrapping the call using his versatility to. Uh, you know what I mean? Keep the keep the game within reach. You know what I'm saying? For Virginia Tech, man. You know, it hit the show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, look, man. He, 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 was, he, was, he was a monster. And he hit threes, uh, 18 points, seven rebounds. But out of that 18, 13 came in the second half when they needed the most. So five or seven shooting from the field, two or three from deep to go along with four rebounds. Uh, he was huge, man. Uh, but, you know, it's a team game. And here are some team stats for you to kind of understand why the Lord is able to hold on. Uh, of course, 13 turnovers from Virginia Tech. It scored 25 points off of those turnovers. It scored 25 points off of 13 Virginia Tech turnovers. They out rebounded Virginia Tech, 34 25. We had a second choice, second, uh, second chance points battle, 13 to 10. He scored more points in the paint, which tells you about what I said about Watkins. They literally, they, they couldn't keep him in front of him, but along with Warren 
and pretty much Spears had the same points as well as the bench. But they, they outscored between second and the paint, 48, 32. They had some points. They won that, 18, 14. Uh, they, 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 they pretty much won every major statistical category on top of the stellar play from their back with so Jalen Worley and, and uh, Jameer Rockets, man. Uh, so, you know, just a well played game for Florida State, man. They deserve it. And the reward is they move on to play top seed North Carolina tomorrow at noon. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I will be here all day, give you recaps of the game on each and every game. Uh, see you guys soon. Follow the Finest Magazine on Twitter for updates of every game uh, throughout the game. See you guys later.